today I am going to read a book called The Moose Who Loved Noodles. Let's get started. Moose Who Loved Noodles by Rachel Dutton. Every day, the park rangers invited all the animals to a big woodland party. Boomer was very excited. He had been looking forward to it all year. Boomer brought his specialty, a big salad of tender young branches with maple leaves and slug slime dressing. He was pretty proud of it. At the party, he noticed that the humans were eating something else, something that smelled delicious. But everyone knows that moose don't eat noodles. He chewed and chomped on his sticks and leaves, but he got splinters in his teeth and he wished for marinara sauce instead of slug slime. It was terrible. His stomach grumbled. He had an idea. After he helped with dishes, Boomer hid under the rug until everyone went to sleep. While the human snoozed, he tiptoed down the hall, clop, 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 and quickly crept over the dining room table. Crash, cling, bang. Boomer paused. Had he been a little noisy, he decided he better hurry. He flung open the refrigerator door and swooned at the sweet smell of pasta. He gobbled and gulped and ate and ate and ate. The noodles were even better than Boomer had imagined. He let out a very satisfied burp. But Boomer had been a little noisy. What a messy moose! The park rangers cried, and they asked Boomer to leave. Boomer knew his life would never be complete without noodles, so he thought of a better plan. He donned at the perfect disguise, a big blue hat and a dashing moustache instead of mustache, and he went to a restaurant. He ordered lots and lots of noodles, but when he bent over to gobble them up, his hat fell off. The people gasped so loudly that it hurt his sensitive ears. No animals in the restaurant, the chef yelled, and they pushed Boomer rudely out the door. Boomer felt very sad and very, very hungry. He looked everywhere for stray noodles, but the only thing he found was a picture in a magazine. Those noodles didn't taste good, but that they gave Boomer a fantastic idea. He would go to Italy, the land of pasta. He got his passport, put on his best pants, and waited in lots of lines. But the airline said he was too tall to fly. Must be this short to fly. Uh, and he didn't fit in a suitcase. Boomer thought he would never get this. his noodles. Sad and noodleless, he ate his yucky leaves and wandered around. Then Boomer had an even better idea. The noodle factory closed. He bought flour and eggs and oil. He mixed and kneaded and rolled. He boiled and snapped and tasted until the noodles were perfect. Boomer made so many noodles, even he couldn't eat them all. He looked at the overflowing bowls and felt rather empty. He wished he had someone to share them with. Then he had his best idea ever. Boomer threw his own party and everyone came. They ate spaghetti and macaroni and talked and danced and had a wonderful time. But Boomer thought there was still something missing. Vegetables! So he made his specialty. Maple leaf salad with slug slime dressing. It's just like some facts about the author. So I'll let you read this. Uh, I'll give you a couple seconds. And